Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light. And we're here today to look into the AC voltage on water. And we have these two pots of water, one on an isolated wooden table and the other on a conductive tile flooring. And we're going to see what kind of AC voltage we get on these using our digital multimeter, which we have one probe connected into the grounding system of the house. Our other probe is actually in the water and there's one more thing I should let you know is that there is no electricity switched on in this house right now. So the main fuse board is actually switched off. So let's see what this probe is reading. So we're getting 19 millivolts right now in this pot of water that is uh, maybe three feet above the tile flooring. Let's see what happens when we move this probe into the other pot of water. Okay, we get 185 millivolts. That's still creeping in. Yeah. So, 190 millivolts feeding in from our pot of water that is not actually connected to the ground. The glass actually isolates it from the tile flooring, but just being in the mere presence of tile flooring is putting an AC voltage on it. And we can read the AC voltage right here. So as you can see there is a potential difference between the locations of water. And this is somewhat of a concern because the human body is 90% water. So when you've got 90% water flowing around in the human body it's probably going to be subjected to the same effects as we're measuring here. So the, the body voltage is going to vary between uh, your proximity to electrical systems. And it's somewhat concerning that we can read almost 200 millivolts from a tile floor when there's no electricity switched on to the house. So it would actually go up significantly once electricity is switched back onto the house. And I'll do that in the next demonstration. So there you have it. This, is, this effect is called stray voltage. It occurs in the dairy industry. It's known to kill cows. Just 2 volts AC will kill a cow, long-term exposure to it. And uh, anything less makes them really sick. So uh, if it affects cows, it's probably going to affect humans too. So as I find out more research on this area, I will let you know by posting more videos on the subject. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.